What's up everyone, this is Sherrod talking, welcome back to my channel, in today's video we will be talking about try and shoot me again, yet another off banner style that was added in the last version update. This gun can do AoE damage, it can counter, it can be used for single target farming and boss fights, plenty of different usage for a character that is easy to get. Well, let's talk about him right now, we had another version of him in the past that was platinum it was actually used for some time there's also an s and a style of him so it's pretty easy to acquire inheritance although he barely needs he has now 112 percent str over the 95 he had in the past he has 88 percent endurance his dexterity is not so high but when he counters he does not need dexterity it always guarantees a hit his agility is not so good with only 72 percent and he does not need intelligence will is 72 so not so far from his endurance well gen has double arrows for str and one for endurance and it's his focus if you are using him for farming you may need to use him on the amazon raid x formation since the agility is pretty bad if you want to get more agility you can also use his platinum style there's double arrows here now uh his first passive is called reinvigorate one str when he lands an attack, it increases his own STR by 15% and recovers 1 BP. This is actually a very good passive and not many characters have access to it, actually. Well, many buff their status but heal instead of recovering BP. And in my opinion, recovering 1 BP is actually much better than healing for around 150 in most cases. Especially because Jen will counter and when he counters, he will buff on the counter attack and that makes him recover mp so he can keep countering that is a very nice setup for a character that can also be used just for damage if he wants now the second one is called strengthened energy 2 damage increases by 10 percent start the fight with 12 bp allowing him to use a very powerful aoe attack or another one that is single target then fired up six increases damage by 30 percent for a total of 40 starting the fight with 12 buffs his str when he attacks and recovers one bp for our skills what we have is spinning slash a 4 bp attack that buffs his own str by 25 percent on max level and deals damage b power 24 mod it's not weak uh, i can tell you that for 4 bp it's good for him since he gets 4 bp when he attacks anyway and he can keep buffing for a total of 40 percent when he lands both bots this attack's not exactly new you can find this also on leonard leonard from saga scarlet grace and his christmas style has access to this as well but he don't get 4 bp so eventually he just runs out of bp that is not that good but now much better on gen since he already buffs himself when attacking then the second skill is apathy for 10 bp you enter an evasion stance and you're going to counter any direct attacks with triple west attack that has slash damage and 61 modifier that is actually pretty strong and you can compare this to two other styles in the game premium ones Tukuai was released in the past and she has hazy moon and she enters a defensive counter stance after attacking with an aoe attack and counters with triple s damage as well but with added sun damage so it covers more bases but the problem is she does not get bp back she does not buff herself and she takes damage although she starts with fast that means that she will always enter the defensive counter stance Something that does not happen with the next comparison. That is Mystic Asylus. She can do something similar, but not on turn 1. On turn 2, she can uh, use Ezra Strife. An 11 MP attack that opens with Slash and Blunt damage. And then she enters a defensive counter stance. But it's not fast. She needs to attack before the enemy to enter the counter stance in order to counter. And she takes damage as well. Since both characters are defensive counter stance and not evasion counter stance. She can get more MP by Mystic Power, but there is only 25% chance of this to happen. But the counter is pretty, pretty strong. But she counters with only Slash. Same case as Gen. 
So when you see you have a character that competes with very strong premium styles and Jen can even outclass Dent with apathy if he triggers it too much. Let's say you're on a fight where the boss attacks three times in a row or you have multiple enemies. If you can counter uh, four to five times, you, you already have enough BP to use apathy again on turn two since he starts with 12. But then... Uh, after that, you are going to slow down a little. So, it's more about explosive damage on the start. If you need to keep using Apathy in a fight like, let's say, similar to Ludwig, you are going to need help to keep Jen alive, because he's gonna receive damage after Apathy is gone. His endurance is not that bad, as it is his will, but he doesn't have any damage passive. Well, Tukwai and Mystic Asshole has a chance to evade Whereas Jen has not. But a good thing is that even when Jen is not countering, he is buffing his own STR so that he deals more and more damage over time. Similar to how Fornius work, he also buffs STR when triggers. Apathy is very nice, it's gonna be used in some boss, and the more times you get to counter, the more the damage you're gonna inflict. Then skill number 3 is called Elegant Battles. For 12 VP, we have an AoE attack that uses Slash and Cold. Well, this is pretty powerful, but Jen does not have any follow-up. Let's say that you are in a farming scenario where the first wave has multiple enemies and then you have to fight a boss in the second wave and he's gonna use a Spinning Slash. So, killing the first two enemies and then attacking a boss. That's the cycle that he works. He doesn't have any sheep we to follow up. And it's interesting to compare the Elegant Petal is exactly pretty powerful. It's gonna do very similar damage to Christmas or Pina. Even stronger. And if you wanna compare it to another premium style, we have Leslie. Well, Leslie has an STR buff aligned to her Icicle Surge. Icicle Surge is only C power 19. See the difference? But you can use both together. Just place Leslie on the front line, she's gonna buff STR, and then you can use both for cold damage that comes from STR in an Amazon Raid X formation that is pretty easy to use. There is also something that you can do instead of doing AoE, and that is inherited from his Platinum style, Life Sprinkler. This was pretty powerful in the Platinum style when he got released like one year ago, and it's triple S power with 73 modifier. So you open with this attack and then keep using Spinning Slash. That is going to work for raids, for example, or when you have three waves with only one enemy, it's gonna be pretty powerful. Besides this, in the future he gets an Amplify over Triple Sword Slash. This is going to become a 6 BP attack with 8 power and 33 modifiers, so he's gonna work for the future row meta. You can even use it three times in a row. You can check in the future he's going to get another style that it's his club version as you can see here from the top and this one is actually interesting if you're having difficulty with the club remembrance battle because he can inherit the blunt strike from his other style and blunt strike has paralyze so it will allow you to do it if you're not thinking about summoning for sharon but it's pretty far from the future and it deals both blunt and slash damage it's not a bad but it's a premium style instead of being off banner so at least he even has another future he becomes better for roll damage he gets access to a club weapon and already is strong for single target cycles if you want to go with spinning slash after using life sprinkler if you want to farm aoe with the first wave you can use elegant petals and he's also a counter specialist with apathy and he can even outclass premium styles if he keeps countering and like I said, if you are lacking for slash specialist, he can be used in boss fights. If you don't have VP, keep attacking, you are going to get BP and buff your STR to do stronger damage. You can open a fight with spinning slash, for example, and then wait for overdrive and then just unleash life sprinkler. It's going to do a lot of damage. So yeah, Jen is a very powerful unit and one of the best off banner styles to choose from. And he's gonna receive a mid-tier double S grade in our cheer list. But that is my opinion. Have you gotten this guy? Have you been playing with him? Please say here in the comment sections. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to support the channel, there are links in the description of the video. I hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye.